Maybe this is the front. So we got the name, smart lock, key free, touch screen keypad, anti theft alert, and a fingerprint sensor. So we'll see how well the fingerprint sensor works because when it comes to phones that I use a fingerprint sensor on, well, they're getting better as I get newer versions, but, but we'll see. If it works every time, they'll be like, wow, awesome. Also includes the auto lock. That's the one I was the feature I'm looking for. Evidently, it must be uh, Wi-Fi because it says app control. I forget if it was Wi-Fi or maybe it's just Bluetooth. Maybe it's just between the lock and the app itself. I don't think it's internet. You can use a, a card and you also have a USB backup micro. So it looks, I think it looks nice for that type of a doorknob. Let's look at the side of the box here. Keyless operating makes unlock easier and safer. That's what I'm looking for. So if it works right off of the fingerprint, that's even, hopefully that's faster. That's one thing with these types of locks, it seems like, is that after you enter the password and you press the unlock button, how long does it take it to say, oh yeah, that's correct, and open the door for you or unlock it. So with a deadbolt, it actually has to move the deadbolt. With these door knobs, it just has to unlock it internally so you can turn the handle. This says it has one button unlock via app within a certain range. Okay, so it must be a uh, Bluetooth then. Well, or no. Well, maybe it's just Wi-Fi. It says remote control via, oh, an extra Wi-Fi gateway. All right, I didn't buy the extra Wi-Fi gateway, but I suspect that's similar to the um, ultra lock. We'll find out. Can, uh, generate or customize the permanent one-time time limited and recurring passcode so i have to see what that is and you can add an account to control the lock via app okay so uh, maybe that well anyways enter passcode on keypad and press pound okay i guess that's how you operate it and that's it just a label on the front so it, it's a pretty heavy box and you just slide okay, the cover I got it off and let's see open it oh, we've got the user manual Oh, it looks like a template. Oh, they give you the screwdriver. Well, not the screwdriver, but a. Phillips screwdriver. Ultralock did that too. Oh, this one even gives you a drill bit. You can always use a drill bit if it's good. Ah, and here's the Here's what the doorknob looks like. Okay, so the outside section with the key lock and the inside section. And the other parts we need to install it. Okay. All right, so let's install it. We will start do undoing the doorknob by removing the screws for the striker. Here's the screws. And uh, next we're gonna pull the doorknob off. So we're gonna have to undo the screws on the other side, right there. Two screws, they're long, they're a pain in the neck. They're fine thread. All right. So you can see the screws are slightly ajar on the doorknob here. 
once they're all the way out, then we can uh, remove the door knob and then remove the striker. You can see uh, on the door I've got written locked. It was just because it was in the garage. This door is in the garage and uh, instead of having to always go to the door to see if it was locked, I try to make a visual to make it easier. So I could just walk by. That's another nice thing about this new lock is uh, it's going to lock automatically. These are the templates. There's two different sizes. So we have to determine which is the correct size looking in the instructions here. But basically, as you'll see, all right, we've got the striker in there. There's the strike plate on the other side. Now we're putting the template on the door. And you can see this template's wrong because the right hand side was uh, not tied up against. This is the correct template. And this is so we can determine where to drill the hole, which is also needed for the installation of this doorknob. For the upper part of the doorknob, you can see that in the uh, installation manual there. Oh, that's right. This is the uh, square shaft. It's got to be installed in one side, and then the cotter pin is put in to hold it in place. Uh, and then when you put the doorknob on the door, then that becomes the bottom part where uh, the doorknob on the inside will attach to it. And that's all going through the striker. Strike? Yeah, the striker. You can see it's got a protective piece of plastic on it. And that's the inside mounting plate. And the top screw there is the one that's holding the outside to the inside. Now we see the uh, uh, doorknob on the inside put on and uh, the battery holder. This shows, uh, this has four AA batteries. Yeah, got that right. So my, uh, my experience with three of these uh, smart locks is that they require four AA batteries. <laughs> and that's what it looks like when it's all assembled. And that's the outside and what it looks like. That's your keypad. And One just of the things I noticed right away is the inside door handle does not have any way of locking this particular uh, door um, but uh, this is an automatic lock so I guess you don't have to worry about that unless you want to lock it right away so I guess I have to find out if there's a way to do that but you'll see that you can always open the door from the inside so that's cool All right. This is the app that you download to your phone. It's called TT Lock. And this is what's used to pair your phone to the app. And then this allows you to control 
the lock in many different ways. Here we go to settings and basics, which just gives you some information, tells you the battery life. What's interesting is there's a bunch of stuff that this does, the app, but they don't talk about it in the manual. So is it that it doesn't do it? Because it's, it's difficult to use it unless you play with it because there's not much information on each item. And if it's not in the book, then how do you know? But anyways, that's okay. Um, so I don't know if some of the things that are in this app actually the uh, lock will do. It's uh, it looks like some other products that you know you find on Amazon where um, a bunch of different companies have what appears to be the same particular product. It's just got a different name. And then, you know, if there's an app involved, well, the app's another app. So this is the TT Lock app, but that's not the name of the of the lock itself. It's a hornbill. So there's probably other ones that look the same. Maybe they do all the stuff. Tamper Alert. What is Tamper Alert? There's nothing in it. It just says, okay. So, I mean, Privacy Lock. What's Privacy Lock? It doesn't talk about that in the manual. Reset button. Okay, yeah, you can do that to pair it up again to your phone. This is interesting. Lock clock is, uh, it takes the phone, no the uh, time and date from your phone to calibrate the lock set the the, lo uh, the clock on the lock that's that's I like that it's wicked simple diagnosis they say you're going to send data to their servers. I don't know if I want my information to be sent someplace else. But, of course, if you're not on Wi-Fi, then it probably doesn't work anyways. So, uh, for instance, I didn't get the Wi-Fi um, gateway because I, I just didn't use it for the garage. The only thing I wanted this lock for was the ability to easily get in by either entering a code or by, in this case, the... Um, fingerprint scanner. So I use a fingerprint scanner nine times out of ten. There's been a few times where the fingerprint scanner doesn't work and it seems like it's always something to do with my finger being dirty. One time it was it was like I had been soaking in water for a long time and it wouldn't work then. So, interesting. So supposedly this works with Google and Amazon. Um, I could care less about that. So, like I said, it's for the garage. So all I care about is being able to get in and out. Uh, I like to not have my keys on me all the time. So having these locks that I can just put a code in to get in and out is really handy. And then I don't have to worry about locking the doors. I just close them and they lock. So it says attendance and unlock notification. I mean, it makes it sound like you could run a business with this thing. Um, I don't see anything in the book about that, though. Although it does talk about using a lexicon to control the door. Um... All right, so there's the passcodes. You can enter the passcodes and generate passcodes. So that's kind of, that's cool because, uh, you know, if you're, 
had someone coming in for service and uh, maybe once once a week at a certain time you could program the lock to set up to uh, allow them the, the lock to open at that time only for that code and then if you had Wi-Fi access you could do it from anywhere you have internet access yeah, you would need Wi-Fi uh, near the lock because that's the lock's going to talk to the internet via the Wi-Fi. So here's how you. Uh, this is the, the custom passcodes. For instance, like I was saying, you could set up for service or something like that. Okay, so this one, all this custom, it's it's all the time. So, anyways, a bunch of different things. Um, you can also go into records. Oh, these are the IC cards. I don't know. W would you have an IC card for if you you always got your finger with you? That makes it a lot easier than having to have a card with you. I suppose if you were doing some sort of a small business or something, then that would be cool. Well, this is how to add the fingerprint. So actually, I've got two fingerprints in it right now. I put my thumb in it first, and I had a tough time activating it with the thumb and the angle and stuff. So I put my my finger, my uh, second finger, my digit finger, whatever you call it, the pointer. <laughs> I put that in where I was standing more directly onto the uh, fingerprint reader. And uh, that works almost all the time. Trying to do the thumb was a weird angle. Records are cool. I mean, if you want, if you need records, uh, I don't really care. It's just the back door. Oh. I think I hit refresh. Yeah, refresh records. This uh, then added more information to each record. So it kind of separated each record by day. And I believe in time order too. So what are the basic operations of this unit? You can use a fingerprint print... <laughs> you can use the fingerprint scanner or you can put a passcode in or you can use the app or you can use an IC card or you can use a f actual physical key to unlock the door. So there's five different ways of unlocking the door. Locking the door is basically the same thing, except for all you got to do is hold down the pound key for uh, a couple of seconds on the keypad to lock the door. And also you can do it from here, from the app, by pressing the lock. That's kind of neat, you know. You can also lock it, too. Um... And then, of course, oh, there's the auto lock feature, which uh, is under settings. And uh, if you re if you remember it sliding through there, you can go from uh, 
I believe it's 10 seconds to 60 seconds or custom, which I never tried, but 10 seconds, that's good enough, you know? I mean, it's like, it's almost immediate. So the, uh, the, the manual does have how to do the remote control with Alexa and Google. Since I'm not really familiar with any of that and really don't care, um, I'm not going to. Well, see, here's the other I, I apps that this app works with. The hotel management system is pretty cool. Uh, if you have a small hotel, of course, uh, those are those called hotels or motels. <laughs> uh, here's the gateway type. Evidently, there's four different gateways, but the one that they mention in the manual is the G2. This is uh, right on the app. And there's different things that you can do from from that. That's the so that's basically the menu. This next to the TT lock uh, header at the top of the screen. That's where that information comes. Right. Well, let's see how easy it is to use. I'm gonna use my. All right, first of all, I think it's locked. It's locked. I'm going to use my fingerprint. Oh, my fingerprint. Oh, I'm going to use my finger. Unlock. Ta-da! It's open. Ooh, let's close it. Now you can see it's, it's still open. It must be on uh, a minute. Well, let's see. see the keypad spin around and it said locked hey let's try a code oh let's try that one I put in there five 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 one two one two unlocked you can hear it talking to you and then see it's still open but I can press the hold, hold the hold button, I believe it was. Now it's locked. Yep. Okay. So that's pretty simple. I mean, what else do you need? 